Uh, lots changed since we last talked to you. What was your um, reaction when you heard that uh, Chip Kelly was going to be the, the new coach? Um, it's exciting for you know the program, but uh, you know happy for him. I'm um, happy he has his job now. I know he wasn't uh, coaching last year. I, don't, I believe not. But uh, seeing Coach Moore go is always hard. That was one of my good you know close friends. Um, also as a coach, you know he's a real good coach. I feel like so seeing him depart ways with UCLA was hard for me, but. At the end of the day, I know it's a business, and he get another job. I'm pretty sure he's a phenomenal coach. He's been coaching for a long time. Will Coach Kelly coming here impact your decision on whether to, to come back next season? No, right now my main focus right now is going out there um, December 26th and getting the win for this uh, Cactus Bowl. That's my main focus. I worry about all the other stuff um, when, when the time is for that. But right now my team needs me to be focused um, on winning the championship and holding up the trophy at that when those uh, when the clock is zero. So that's my main focus right now. What's it like not being able to have Coach Meaton for this last game? You already lost Coach Mora, obviously, one coach that was so influential, and then you lose your positions coach. I mean, it's just a little adversity that hits, but uh, like I said, it's a business, and Coach Me has to do what's best for him. Uh, you know, the school has to do what's best for what they feel like is the team and hiring Coach Rhodes, who's a you know, great coach. So he, I'm pretty sure, you know, going forward with UCLA, uh, UCLA will be in good hands with uh, Coach Rhodes, DBs. Um, exciting for him to be here. A um, little adversity hitting, but Coach Me, he, we, I got the DBs. We're going to be all right. Real excited to get a chance to play on December 26th, another game for us to go out there, have fun, play with the seniors again, and just go out there and leave it all on the field. Now, Coach Kelly plays a different style than um, has been played here recently. When he met with you guys, did he talk about that and kind of his vision for, for, the, for the program going forward? Yeah, he talked about uh, his vision, you know, of course, he want to come in here and win championships, and that's what uh, all coaches that get hired to do want to come in and win championships. He's going to have his philosophy, and um, starting when everybody gets back in January, um, going moving forward, that's going to be the goal, we'll go win a national championship. So that's his main main focus, as it should be, as any head coach that gets a new job. So it's exciting to you know have him here at UCLA. Has he implemented any changes in, like, uh the way you guys do like your strength training or conditioning or eating or anything like that? Has anything changed there? Nothing has been uh, set in place right now. You know, he's trying to get his staff together and we right now are trying to, this staff currently is trying to finish and focus on winning the bowl game on December 26th. So like I said uh, before, we worry about all that when uh, the time is for that. We out here trying to win a championship right now, trying to practice hard and prepare ourselves for to head to Phoenix and go get a W. When you look at Kansas State, what have you seen there as far as the challenges they present on offense? They are a real physical team. Um, they have uh, some speed on the outside, a receiver. Um, I know number seven, he's really good. Uh, 34 is a real good running back. So they have some uh, dual threat quarterback action a little bit. So it's going to be exciting. It's an exciting challenge to uh, get a chance to play against a different team who's not in our conference and who we don't typically play against. I know uh, we played them my freshman year when I first got here in the um, Alamo Bowl in San Antonio, Texas. So it's really exciting to play against them. I know they're going to bring it, and we're going to bring it too. Is this a chance for the defense to kind of hit the reset button a little bit and, and then maybe start over a little bit in a way? Um, I wouldn't say start over. I feel like we've been playing pretty well the last three games specifically with uh, ASU and uh, USC and Cal. So I just say to keep it going, you know, mm -hmm. um, tweak some things to get uh, some other things fixed. But just keep keep our foot on the gas, a foot on the gas, and just keep playing. Just keep playing hard, keep playing physical, and everybody do their job. And we're gonna be just fine. You see a lot of growth in those young linemen, particularly. You talked about the last three games. It's kind of coming together somewhat for the whole defense. Yes, it helps uh, when the young guys know what they're doing. Um, so the, the getting game experience, I feel like that's all they needed. There are a, a lot of great players, and there will be um, they have great success here at UCLA. I'm sure of it. So. It's just, like I said, the game experience, that's what they needed. And they finally, you know, they was able to get that. So you can see them, um, see their growth and their progress as the games go on. What, Go ahead. What did it mean for you to be named the team's defensive MVP? Um, it meant a lot to me. I mean, just knowing my uh, my journey here, it was real interesting. Um, you know, I came from really the bottom pole all the way to, you know, getting out of war last night. So going from being a service team, scout running back and, you know, giving the offense a look, um, giving the defense a look, and then I was a scout defense player at times too. So then being a special teams player last year, being a, uh, the fifth guy on at the nickel safety, and then coming down and starting, and, 
you know, obtaining an award. I was very honored by receiving that award.